Many of us spend a great deal of time these days traveling. Whether that be locally, just around where we live, or nationally or even internationally. These days, of course, it's much easier to journey and travel than it was in the days of the Celtic Saints. These days we can just jump in a car, jump on a bus, or on a plane, and be wherever we want to be in a relatively short period of time. One thing that doesn't change, however, is that as we journey and as we travel to these places, we take with us the presence of Christ that we embody. We embody the presence of Christ through our own spiritual practice, through our own spiritual journey of becoming a Christian, whether that be through contemplative prayer or some other practice. We begin to embody the presence of Christ and that embodiment goes with us as we travel. The question is, how much do we allow God to work through us as we journey and as we travel? June the 4th is the feast day of Petroch. Petroch is one of the Celtic saints that is known to have travelled a lot. He was thought to have been born and brought up as a prince in Wales, travelled to Ireland to learn his monastic rule and way, perhaps even being the teacher of Kevin of Glendalough and then doing most of his own ministry and mission in Cornwall. So known to have travelled to these three Celtic lands. As he travelled, he embodied the presence of God, the presence of Christ. And the presence of Christ in him as he travelled embodying this had an effect on what he did and who he spoke to. On one occasion, the presence of Christ within him so influenced the king of Cornwall that as the king became a Christian because of this, his entire nation followed Christ. Very similar to how the kings of the Old Testament would follow the ways of the people of God as they influenced them. The question is, how much do we allow the presence of God to influence us as we journey in our life. In the meditation for Petroch in my book 40 Days with the Celtic Saints, it says Petroch was a man of journey and of solitude. He spent time alone with God and travelling for him, performing miraculous signs and wonders. In this time he would have cultivated the presence of God within himself and this was of such influence that the King of Cornwall, King Constantine, decided to dedicate himself and his entire kingdom to the God of Petroch. In what ways does God work through you? What do you do in order to create opportunities for God to work through you to influence others? In your physical, everyday journeys, the presence of God travels with you simply because you embody the presence of God. The question is, how much do you allow that to influence the things that you do and the people that you see?